So let's talk about what's coming up on my channel for the month of August 2022, plus my only sole pickup for July. Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. Welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name's Dual, better known to you as the Big D, back again with another video. Today I'm going to be giving you my schedule for August 2022. Plus, my one and only pickup, I had planned to get more stuff, but due to some issues going around, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way. My only pickup is the Batman on Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Believe me, if I had kept that cord from my previous modem, I wouldn't have gotten my PlayStation 3 to play more Blu-rays, because that time-pick encryption key crap came up again. Now, I'm sure it's, and if, and when that would have happened, well, I was going to say, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm not, I've had enough of that crap. But I've got it going, and I watched it on Blu-ray. It was perfect. It's great to see this. First great superhero flick of the year, The Batman. Very good. Now then, before I go into the schedule, I'm going to go ahead and give you the winners of the gold, silver, and, big, and bronze Big D. The Gold Big D goes to the most viewed video, and the, the Gold Big D goes to the spoiler-free review of Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank, with 79 views. The Silver Big D goes to the second most viewed video, and with 74 views is the Thor Love and Thunder spoiler-free review. And the Bronze Big D goes to the third most viewed video, and with 60 views, the Minions Rise of Gru... Uh, Spoiler free review. So, congratulations to the winners. Now, then, after you get this video look, later in the day, I shall be doing the first of the few anniversary reviews. First up will be Air Bud. Been wanting to review this for some time. Now, of course, then the next day you will get my rankings of first time watches and read watches for last month. So, I'm going to try and get to working on those. I've got them ran, them ran down, so, now you know. Let's see. Then after that, on the third will be a review. I will start reviewing the Jackass films. I recently re-watched those, plus, well, watched the first one, but the other three were first time watches. You'll see what they wind up. I will review Jackass the movie on the third, then Jackass number two on the fourth, and Jackass 3D on the fifth. Now, don't you worry, none that... The other, well, the the new one comes up later on. I'm just giving it to you by week, by the week and what have you. Let's see. And then on the 6th, though, though it was originally supposed to be the previous Saturday morning TV law, but due to my previous laptop issue, you'll, you'll get my kid video Saturday morning TV law. Okay. Also, you will get... And also, mind you, I will get a review of Bullet Train, a spoiler-free review of that. On the 7th, you will get two, two more anniversary reviews, and they will be on Spy Kids 2, The Island of Lost Dreams, as well as the underrated Three Ninjas. Now, I'm only reviewing the first one. I'll review the sequels later on. Okay? Because I know they didn't get good response, and that's understandable. Enough said. Let's see, then on the 9th, I shall, let's see, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, now, okay, wait, correct. On the 8th, I will do a review of Jackass Forever, uh, the latest one. Then on the 9th will be an anniversary review of one of my favorite Vin Diesel flicks, Triple X. Now, on the 10th will be a spoiler-free review of Scream 2022, a.k.a. Scream 5. And that same day will be an anniversary review of the satire flick, The Kentucky Fried Movie. That's right, you heard me correctly. I am going to do that as well. On the 11th will be the Wide World of Game Shows episode on Double Dare, the not not the 1976 game with Alex Trebek, 
the Nickelodeon game. Let's see. Then on the 12th will be a TV log on a show I had forgotten to do two years ago, and that will be 3 to 1 Contact. On the 13th will be the next Saturday morning TV log on my Emax from the Amazing Adventures blog. And that same day will be a review of another anniversary review, and it'll be Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I'm looking forward to doing that one. Let's see. Then on the 15th will be a review of Men in Black 2, and then Men in Black 3 will follow on the 16th. On the 18th will be a review of the Adam Sandler flick The Water Boy. Then on the 19th, I'll be doing another TV log, and it'll be on another show I had failed to do earlier this year, because I just wasn't aware. I thought it was supposed to be fall when this came out. And it'll be Square One TV. I'll be spotlighting it. On the 20th, will be the Saturday morning TV log for the 1983 classic, The Lils. Yes, I'm finally going to do that one. Then on the 21st, will be the 30th and... 35th anniversary, excuse me, of the classic Dirty Dancing. Let's see. And then on the 23rd through the 25th, I'll be doing, well, I'll be making up for lost time and review three recent new movies, including The Sea Beast and The Gray Man, which were both on Netflix. And for the first time ever, you will get a a Paramount Plus film review in Beavis and Butthead Do the Universe. Well, all the way will be the second one, because you, you will also be looking for a special spoiler-free review of the new Orphan First Kill. Looking forward to seeing that. Let's see here. Okay, then the 27th will be the Saturday morning TV log of the underrated Hanna-Barbera 1979 show The New Schmoo. Then on the 28th will be the Wide World Game Show's episode on Nick Arcade. The 29th will be another TV log, and it'll be on one of my favorite Nick shows, Clarissa Explains It All. And then it's horror and suspense for the last two days. The 30th will be a review of the original Last House on the Left my, for an anniversary. And even though Halloween is until October, then I'm going to celebrate the 15th anniversary of this with a re-review of Rob Zombie's Halloween. And there you have it. Again, you will also get spoiler-free reviews of Orphan, First Kill, and Bullet Train along the way. Bullet Train's unfortunately the only new film in theaters I'm going to get to go see at, well this month, so enough said. Alright, that'll do it. What do you, what do you think of this? You looking forward to seeing anything good this month? You can tell me in the comments section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, be a part of the Big D Nation. And stay tuned for the Air Bud review coming up later in the day. So thanks for watching. If you like this, see these all three spoiler-free reviews uh, of the films that won the gold, silver, and bronze Big Ds. The upper... Left hand corner is the Pause of Fury review. The upper right hand corner is the Thor Love and Thunder review. And the bottom left hand corner is the Minions The Rise of Gru review. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe if you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc. And I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.